five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, everybody, it's the Ramble. I'm Alex Bennett, and the Ramble goes from now until midnight Eastern Daylight Time. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a guy that I haven't seen. We've discussed this 30 years. 30 years. 30 years. Uh, and uh, he used to be a regular on my show in San Francisco. Uh, and one of the favored people on the show. I mean, you could call up and say, I want to be the, come on over tomorrow. And I'd go, fine. You know, right. you, you ne we never told you, I'm sorry, we're too overbooked or anything. No, never. In fact, never. there was no such thing as being overbooked on my show because the more comics we had, the funnier it got. You know? And the bigger audience we got. Yeah. It, 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 and so I would uh, I guess you were one of my favorites because you, you knew how to play the game you know you did it well and Bubbles was one of my favorites and uh, Durst was one of my favorites and uh, Warren Thomas Wait. Warren Thomas Warren Thomas God bless him yeah long gone now yeah the hospital gave him AIDS y yes he went into well here's what happened we Warren Thomas uh, had AIDS, and here's how it happened. Boy, this is a really old story. Uh, he he had uh, he went into the hospital for I think it was a, a, a blood clot or something. Yeah. And they gave him this was at San Francisco General. They gave him blood transfusions. Well, that was when the blood supply was compromised. Okay. Right. Uh, and uh, he got AIDS as a result of it. And he was down to like one T cell or something like that, and then they started having the cocktails started coming out, and right. his immunity got better and better and better. Uh, right. and, and he kept going for many, many years. Uh, and they came to New York, and I had him on my uh, show here at Sirius. And he was living here, and all of a sudden, people didn't hear from him. And they w finally went to his apartment, and he had been dead for several days. And they oh, I didn't know that. I, and I never had it explained what he died of, you know, whether it was AIDS or whether it was something akin to AIDS, you know? Right, uh, right. Uh, but the, the, the irony is the hospital, he went in for one thing, and he came out dead. Well, he no, he, he didn't die from the— No, 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 no. What I'm saying is they gave him HIV. They gave him HIV. Yeah, but they didn't know that at the time. They didn't know that no. the blood supply was compromised. I mean, you remember those beginning days of AIDS in San Francisco. You want to talk about a, uh, a, 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 a disease panic. a disease that caused an am amazing panic. You can talk about AIDS. Now, I know some of you don't care because you're not gay, and I'm not gay either, but I knew a lot of gay people. And it, imagine that... The idea that somebody you love, you can't love fully because if you have sex with them, you might die. Right. I mean, that's that's really just to me anguishing. You know that you can't resolve your your romantic feelings towards somebody in sex because that sex may kill you. Right. 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 Uh, and they didn't. You know, just like the coronavirus in the beginning, they didn't know what was causing it, how it was happening what the impact was, you know. Right. And uh, it was it was pretty, it was it was a plague on our community. We lived in San Francisco. And that, that oh, was absolutely. Probably impacted absolutely. worse than any other place in the United States. Yes. Amazing. But anyway, well, so, so, so during that time, Warren Thomas <clears throat> had, had a problem where they had to have a blood transfusion. They just gave him a blood transfusion, and it was blood transfusion with the AIDS in it. And he got right. AIDS. That was it. You know. It, it, it was an old joke about what's the worst thing about having AIDS, and the the joke answer was having to tell your parents you're Haitian. Uh, <laughs> uh, but in this case, here was a guy who was as heterosexual as anybody I know. I mean, 
hell, he was more heterosexual than you and I combined, okay? He was getting yeah. laid so often uh, you couldn't count it, all right? Right. He's a good-looking guy, had charm. He could charm the pants off of you. Which Literally. He, which he did with many women. Yeah. Uh, and then to go in and get a disease, which is basically associated with gay people and having to say, you know, I have AIDS, but I'm not gay. Right, people right, right. People didn't understand that, but there were a lot of people who were straight who, who got AIDS. And oh, yeah. It, but, it, but it wasn't from having sex. It was from things like this, from the blood transfusion or the exchange of blood some, in right. some particular way. Um, and so uh, uh, it, was, uh, it was rough for him. But to have him just, well, I don't know. They never said what he died from. I, I kept asking people. And there were, you know, there were memorials and uh, things that, you know, you could write to and so on. And never said what the cause was. They just found him dead. Right. Right. We did a memorial for him at the punchline. That was just yeah. too funny. Yeah. Yeah. He was one of the funniest people I think I've ever known. He was one of the... Oh, yeah. He, he was what we call the riff monster. This guy oh, yeah. could riff like nobody's business. Absolutely. I would find him in my apartment smoking my weed. What, you just walk in and he was smoking your weed? Yeah, I'd walk into my apartment and he's sitting at the kitchen table smoking my weed. <laughs> War Warren and I at one point were like brothers, except that like I'm five six and Jewish and he's six five and, and African American. Yeah, exactly. Besides that, we were twins. Yeah, uh, and he, you know, his his career was up and down. Yeah. Okay. Um, he would get jobs, and then all of a sudden, he didn't have them anymore. Uh, I remember once right. he got, they had a late night show on CBS where they were trying out all kinds of different people as hosts for a week to see if right. they could be the next slot on CBS late night. Right. And he did a week, but he didn't get it. Okay. But then the, the other one was he went over to that, uh, what was the black comedy show in Living Color? Right, 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 right. Uh, and he became a writer and in Living Color. And in fact, while he was there, if you listen to the show, you could hear him laughing on the laugh track. Really? You know? Yeah, because he would sit in the audience and you could always hear him. He had a laugh that was very special. But right. he, he worked on right. Living Color for a short time and then he was gone. You know? Um, right, he, uh, he, he was big at self-sabotaging. Yeah, yeah. He got a lot of opportunities, and he just destroyed them. Well, there are certain people like him who are so talented that they're told how talented they are, and they're lauded for right. how talented they are, and that becomes a problem. You know, it yeah. kind of makes it kind of cripples them because they they feel they don't have to do anything extraordinary to get the gigs to be in the business and so on. Right, right, uh, and, right. And um, so, uh, you know, and a couple people like that. Uh, Jeremy Kramer is a comic nobody here who's listening to us even knows of, okay? Right. Probably a legend among comedians, you know. Uh, absolutely. And San Francisco comedians, particularly. Yeah. And the fact was that he, I think, sabotaged his career like crazy. He he kept saying, everybody's telling me what a genius I am. All this stuff will come to me. Right, well, right, many, right, how right. Many, how many bad comedians make it? Lots. And why do they make it? They have business sense. They have a business sense and a drive, and they don't want to give up. Right. And everybody, no matter what. Comedians would come to me, and they would say, what, what? You know, can you give me any any advice? And I said, the only piece of advice is I can give you is never give up. Right. You know, right. always want it. You know, and if you don't give up, you're going to have some certain measure of, of of notoriety. You know. Right. I've been doing stand up since '81. Yeah. And I still right. love every minute of being on stage. Now, I think the last time we talked to you, I think we talked about your movie career. Which, oh, yeah. which got off to, was all getting off to a pretty good start there for a while. Uh, yeah, you, you know, you did, I did. You did Clint Eastwood film Sudden Impact, right? And, and I did. Yeah, 
I did Gene Wilder, Woman in Red. Well, now tell them about that, because that one you did, but you're not in. But if they no, look, but if they I look, never stepped in front of the camera. If they look at the credits at the end of the film, you have a credit. Which means I get residuals. Yeah. Now, so they, they did a scene with you in Woman in Red. Right. Right, you did that. Big deal. Uh, then they don't run it. They don't run your scene. Right. But you get the credit, so you get the residuals. It's wonderful. It's well, a maybe, great, it's maybe, a great gig. I'm sure you would have rather that it was in the film, though, and you could show it to people. Oh, you know. Sure. Then you did another picture, which I had a small association with. You were in maybe the most disastrously bad movie of all time. Howard the Duck. Howard the Duck. That and, was my first film. And by the way, you're in it quite prominently. You and Monty, oh, yeah. Monty Hoffman who's also yeah. gone at this time. Uh, and and you, uh, you, the two, uh, that you had a big, uh, you played like a, what was your, you, you were trying to come on to a woman or something? Was that? No, it? no, no. I was making out with a woman. Yeah. Seriously making out with a woman. I wasn't acting. Really? I, oh, yeah. We were going at it. <laughs> and then the, the duck comes flying. This is when the duck first gets to Earth. Yeah. So he comes crashing through in between us and it's like what the f what the duck or what the fuck or whatever I, my line yeah, was yeah wow and and that film was a disaster oh. and, and i knew it was i don't know when you knew it was going to be a disaster but they got a hold of me and they said listen we're doing a final scene for howard the duck the movie we're doing and we're doing it at right. the warfield theater and we need to pack the place with an audience okay so okay. it was, so on the air, I did a plea that everybody should go down a certain time to the Warfield Theater and be part of the movie. And I filled the entire place. Okay? Oh, yeah. Oh, and, yeah. And so I go over there after my show when they're starting to film, and they've got this guy who comes out in a duck suit. And I look at the guy who I'm dealing with from uh, Lucasfilm, and I said, um, so the duck... That's just kind of you're placing him there so you can then animate the duck because Howard the Duck was a was a cartoon strip about a cartoon duck living in the real world. Right. Okay. Smoke cigars, gamble, right. chase women. So I figure what they were doing because they had already I think they had already had uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, and I was figured that what they were using is this guy was in the duck suit as a place marker right. so they could then animate over that. And right, I right, said, right. I said, so, so, you're gonna animate over the duck, right? He says, no, that's that's the duck for the movie. And I looked back at him and I said, you're in a lot of trouble. Oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. I forgot who directed it, but one of those directors that's not sure of themselves, so they but, shoot everything like twenty times. Well, well, it was Gloria Katz and her husband, and her husband was the guy who directed the film. And they were always pals with with Lucas, and the film was a disaster. I mean, you know, absolute disaster. Um, I don't think it ever made its money back. And it, 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 oh, it, I doubt it. it. To this day, if you were to interview um, uh, George Lucas and then mention Howard the Duck, he'd probably give you a dirty look. It's it's part of his career. He does not want to remember. That's right. Although it didn't hurt his career, though, did it? Well, no. I mean, he still sold the place for four billion dollars or something like that. Right, right, that. right. Um, um, so, any other movies beside that? Well, I did uh, two Rob Schneider films. I did The Animal, uh -huh. and I did The Hot Chick. Yeah. What else did I do? I did an Eric Estrada movie. Yeah. Here's the difference between an Eric Estrada movie and a Clint Eastwood movie. Clint Eastwood, you know, I, I I told you the Clint Eastwood story, didn't I? What was that? Okay, so we're on location, and they feed us while we're on location, but you got to feed yourself when we're not shooting. And I got no money, so I'm eating food, and I'm stealing food, and I'm eating food, and I'm stealing food. And I feel a paw, not a hand, a paw on my shoulder. And I look up, and it's Eastwood. And I think, ah, oh, fuck. I just ended my career before I said my first line. And he says to me, you don't have to steal it, Steven. You can have it. 
And then he gives me $50 and says, make sure you eat tonight. Wow. Wow. He came, up, he came up to me at every meal and said, do you have enough to eat? Do you need any money? That's that's terrific. And he, he got me my SAG card. Wow. Wow. So I, sh I shot that in 83. And here's the, here's the difference. Like... If I would drop in the cobs when the cobs was in the marina, move over just a little, move, move over just a little bit, yeah. We this need way, to, yeah. There we go. Okay, yeah, yeah. Just okay. So finish what you were saying because we're running out of time here. Okay, what was I saying? I don't know. <laughs> oh, your sad card. Your sad card. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He got me my sad card. I would deduct they didn't even mention sad cards. But yeah, Eastwood made sure I got my sad card because he made sure I did my own stunts and I did my own lines. Oh really? Did you did, did you uh, do you uh, do you still have SAG as a as a as a, as a per, as I'm, I'm still an active yeah, member. Look at that. Yeah. There we go. It's my SAG card. Yeah. Uh, you I went, don't know why I keep yeah. sending them money for dues. Well, I'll tell you why you should, and uh, but we got to go because we've run out of time. You want to do this in a couple of weeks again? Yes. Yes. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I won't ask him where he's playing because nobody's playing anywhere. Uh, but, he's, he, but he's killing. He's, but he's killing. But he's killing. I, I love you, Stephen. Thanks for being with us. Love you too, Alex. Bye-bye. Thanks for having me. Five years and still talking. This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Ah, uh, yes, uh, that's uh, Stephen Kravitz. Uh, hello, everybody. How are you? How are you? How are you? How have I been feeling today? I don't know. I've got this thing. I, I don't know. It feels like shortness of breath. I have no symptoms of coronavirus except that. I don't have any, uh, any of my uh, usual uh, problems. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm fine. Yeah, well, what the hell? Anyway. Uh, uh -huh. I don't have a fever, don't have body aches, I don't have chills, I don't have anything like that. So, what the hell. Anyway, listen, it's time for us to start uh, assembling a, a panel uh, to be called a citizen panel. And uh, what I'm going to do early on here is I'm going to uh, uh, enable the waiting room. The reason being, last night, I'm going to enable it as soon as I've got a certain amount of people here, and then I'll have to keep an eye out for people trying to join. Because last night I got uh, Zoom bombed, if you believe in such things, uh, which was just a whole bunch of people I never heard of in my life trying to get on the show and then not saying anything. And uh, it, when they Zoom bomb you, if you, if you allow them to use uh, screen sharing, then they really screw you over. So anyway, if you go to uh, gabnet.net, center of the page there, there's a thing that says click here to get onto our Zoom. And uh, you can see it if you're watching us on YouTube. At the right on, under Alex Bennett, it says Zoom us during the show, and you just click on that. Or you go to my Facebook page, uh, which is facebook.com forward slash A Bennett, A B E N N E T T, and that will uh, suddenly uh, make you have the ability to uh, call us. Uh, but anyway, uh, by the way, I, and oh, here we go. Charlie Wallace is already here. Uh, he's uh, he's just joined our little uh, our little group early. Oh, and there's Brian. Let me let me let me uh -oh. do this. Okay, there's Brian Neary, and um, so you don't think I have the COVID, do you, Brian? Are you there, Brian? Mm -hmm. Are you there, Brian? Yes. Yes. You don't think I have the COVID, do you? No. I don't, I don't have do. I, I don't have a temperature, but I've got to have shortness of breath all day. You know, for a couple of days. Not shortness. Not really bad, but you know. Are you exercising, Alex? No. Shame. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Five, ten minutes at least. Yeah. But that doesn't sound like COVID to you, does it? I have to have. Uh, no. I'd have to have the temperature, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I, I keep taking it every two or three minutes here because I've got my, <laughs> my little thing. Nice. Hello, Rob. Here we go. Look at this. 
And you can all see I'm 97.4. I don't think I have the COVID, do you? No matter no. what other symptoms I might have. Hello, Josh Wheeler. How are you, Josh? Gosh, and also, hmm? Alex, it's not getting worse, right? It's just sort of lingering. It's lingering. It hap started yeah. happening a couple of days ago, and then it's, you know, it's just, it lingers. It's lingering. Okay. So, so that's okay, right? Yeah. That's, that's not COVID. By the way, I found out, though, that the guy that I own these photographs with from this woman who died and left us the photographs, uh, I, I finally found out what happened to him. He's uh -oh. dead. Oh, man. Heart attack. Wow. I thought it might be COVID or something like that. Heart attack. Hi, Rob. Hey, how are you, Alex? You didn't like hearing <laughs> the word heart attack, did you? I mean, there was... <laughs> Huh? Not a good way to go. Not a good way to go. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's a good way to go. We don't know. Sure. Y you know? We won't know yeah, till it happens. Good. Yeah. And then we don't live to tell about Oh, by it. the way, let me say this to, uh, uh, um, uh, to uh, Charlie. Happy Juneteenth, Charlie. Thank you, Alex. I appreciate it. Yeah. Um, I found out why they're doing the fireworks for Juneteenth, because it's their Independence Day. Yeah. So I'm hoping that when our Independence Day comes along, they won't blow off the fireworks, but I don't think I got a much of a chance of that. So. No, you're going to get a twofer. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Chinese and Vietnamese New Year, no, they light them off both ends, both sides. Yeah. Um, do you know, I was, I, was, I was watching some documentaries about slavery and emancipation and when it happened. Do you know in certain parts of the country, like Texas, it didn't happen for like two years because yeah. the word didn't get to them. Or they, they, they had to pass some kind of law in Texas in order to free their slaves or whatever. So, uh, but uh, and also, it was kind of a abrupt thing they did with emancipation, yeah. in, in that all of a sudden here were all these people who um, didn't know what to do with themselves. You know, up until this time, they didn't have to worry about getting food and, you know, whatever. And all of a sudden, they're out trying to figure out how to, how to survive. Uh, it, was a, it was pretty brutal. And it didn't change much for about 100 years. So, you know, it was, it was pretty, pretty fucked up. But anyway, happy, happy Juneteenth. Yeah, yes, John Larkin. Is that your thumbs up to Juneteenth? Yeah, for oh. sure, man. Okay. It's about time. Yeah. Um, uh, what I'm doing is I, I, I... Now, my question is, should I put us now behind the wall and enable the waiting room so that we don't have happen what happened last <laughs> night? You know? And if, if anybody is calling us and I recognize their name, we're fine. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, let me see here. Oh, here comes Phil. Okay. Phil Not got in before late. having to be in the waiting room. Too late. Yeah. Too late. Okay. Yeah. Wait, wait a minute. Let, are we uh, anybody else trying to come on? Let's see here. Okay. Well, let, let me just. If I see one name I don't know, I'll immediately enable the waiting room. Okay. That's the way we can do it. Who who joined us now? Did we just have somebody join us? No. I guess I not. Uh, no. Phil was the last one. Huh? Phil was the last one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me let me initiate the waiting room. Enable the waiting room, and then if I uh, if I see somebody I know there, we'll be we'll be fine. Okay. If talk is getting boring. Just enable it. Huh? Yeah. If talk is getting a little boring tonight, you can just flip it off. You know, like last night. Well I, well, I don't know what to do, whether to enable the waiting room and then enable it when, when I see, at the, first, at the first moment of seeing somebody I don't notice, I'll get rid of them. But we figured last night it was maybe one person doing the whole thing. Yeah. Is that, is that possible? Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. I, I tell you the truth, I don't think you were targeted. I think it was just a random thing. Random, Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah, they, they must have something to see that all these chunk of people that aren't protecting and then they just blast. Really? Oh, okay. All right. Well, you know, I mean, uh, I'll, I'll take it a step at a time here. Anyway. Oh, boy. And I'm lightheaded today. Oh, I'm out of it. 
I'm just out of it. I decided not to take my uh, my pill last night, and I think I'm having withdrawal symptoms. What are you sucking on there, Phil? Uh, water. Mm. Uh, but um, the way the container's made, even though it's recyclable, uh, it makes me put my head back too far to, to drink it. So I, I'd rather use my uh, well, metal straw. What you can always do, here's just a suggestion. You can taste use it your hands. and then use your <laughs> yeah. other hand. Oh, yeah. the, the this, It's called yeah. the Trump method. You know, uh, in my family, anybody that drinks uh, actually extends their pinky. I don't understand why, but uh, and, I, know and I know it's doing. not the hormones. No, I don't. I, I do this. I'm I'm yeah, hormones. I'm I'm a point inward kind of oh. person. Rather, you're talking about this. Well, it's what they do. With, it's like what they do with a teacup. Yeah, it's yeah. the uh, you can't this. do it, you can't do it with a cup like this because it's too heavy and you know whatever. So, uh, the straw uh, being uh, metal and reusable, I, I like it. But, you know, we take all those gloves that we wear to protect ourselves from COVID and you see them all over the street uh, and eventually in the storm drain. Yeah, yeah. Eventually in some they, turtle they belly. Break, they break pretty easily. Yeah. You know, S somebody should come out with, uh, do, they, do they make gloves brian that are just like multi you can use them over and over and over and over and over yeah, again play, playtex uh makes yeah. them like, dishes with them and things like that you know big yellow ones no but you want you yeah. want them somewhat thin so that you can manipulate things yeah some of the labs use them yeah some of the labs use them but 95 percent are all uh you know disposable yeah. in our factories you know, all my underwater gloves, I have these uh, ones you can wear underwater. And the, and the fingers, I've had them cut, uh, cut off the, uh, the last like inch of uh, uh, the thumb and the uh, forefinger uh, so I can manipulate my camera. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm having a problem now with my uh, phone uh, because if I want to use it, and let's say I'm at the uh, pharmacy. Okay, yeah. uh, not not the pharmacy, but at the drugstore. You know, I'm getting some candy or something, yeah. and I uh, I want to buy it and I want to pay for it with my uh, my Apple Pay. Yeah, I have to remove my mask. You can't tap in a code. Well, what I found I can do is if I move it over, move it away from my nose, somehow it then recognizes me. Yeah. Well, Otherwise, yeah. Apple's got to come up with a whole new plan. Yeah. I, I think they will. They'll probably have two face recognition things in there, one with mask and one without. I would imagine, but they haven't announced anything of that sort. So, you know, you know so, who knows? But I'm wondering if you change your mask and you get, you know, you got the blue surgical or you go to the N95 and then all of a sudden Apple says, well, we don't recognize you. You're wearing the wrong mask. Well, are any of you getting mask envy lately when you see somebody with a really cool mask? <laughs> yeah. 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 Occasionally, yeah. Yeah. Um, um, the fashion statement. Fa no, there, there are a lot of a lot of them out there now with fashion statements. I just wonder how effective they are. However, uh, I saw a mask uh, on Facebook today. It was actually a picture of Trump, and uh, from you know he was making a weird thing with his lips, like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, but it, it was Trump from here down. Uh huh. Oh, orange. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> it must have been. <laughs> so I I saw oh, one of your uh, here in San Francisco. I saw one of your uh, your 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 pals, uh, you know, Trump fan, waiting to see the rally tonight. Mm -hmm. And she's going. She's going. I don't care. It's worth it for me. I'm I'm not going to get the coronavirus. And she was so fat. I went. That uh, comorbidity, she doesn't need the coronavirus to die from her comorbidity for crying out loud. Maybe it'll help her lose weight. Yeah, right, right. What do you think of that whole deal, Demarna? He's refusing to do it, even though his better angels are saying, uh, "Don't do it." Fauci also. Fauci was talking about it a little bit too. He's he's really worried about it. It's yeah. a cult. Well, things have not been so good in Oklahoma in the last couple of days. It's gotten worse and worse. And it has nothing to do with more testing causing more positive results. It's more people winding up in the hospital, which 
You don't test for you. You're either there yeah, or you're right there. Yeah, huh? they're talking. They, they, they're letting them in. They would have the people in line. But then also they're letting all those people in four hours before Trump even comes out. Why? So they so now they're going to be yeah now they're going to be together congested like that for four hours and then Trump's going to be on there for one and a half or whatever. What's, I mean, what? Or as we as we know it, marinating. What's the weather like in Tulsa? Is it you know I don't have that one on my phone right off. The nice back. from the. From yeah. Oh, it's raining. Heavy rain. Really? It's mm -hmm. hot, though. Hot rain. It's not hot? Well, it's probably yeah. hot, but it's, there's rain. And there's rain scheduled for tomorrow. So. Boy, it's going to smell great in there tomorrow night. Yeah. <laughs> Therefore, he'll only get 100 million people. How many people uh, have been outside people. waiting for days? Uh, you yeah. got, uh, I think it only I'm holds 22,000. Mm -hmm. so, Pitching for a fight, too. Not, no, I don't think so. Why would there be fight? It, unless, of well, course, Trump, Trump's trying to promote a fight. He's uh, oh, go around tweeting, you know, all that bullshit about showing up. You're not going to be treated with kid gloves and all that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, you know, that that, that I, I, saw that, I, I saw that. I saw that tweet. I saw that tweet, and I thought it was very provocative, Phil. Yeah, uh, John Arkin versus Brian Neary. You know, let him punch it out on uh, on Zoom. <laughs> I think if that those protesters take a take a turn and go down that 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 Trump way, and yeah. that could be very interesting to see what happens. Yeah, um, let's see here, Trump. Very combustible. I'm gonna see if I can find it. He did a very. Uh, uh, um, let's see it was here. Like three or four uh, things. One of them was a joke. Uh, uh, Twitter thing. Let's see if I can find it. <laughs> uh, got a background. Look at Kevin. Uh, Let's see here. Real Donald Trump. Let me look at it that way. And it'll filter it out. Twice now my phone has done that. What done what? Reboots itself spontaneously. Really? Yeah. Well, take it into the Apple store. Yeah, right. Are they open yet? Closed. No, yeah. they, they. Some they, of them are open, I think. I think yeah. they're, but they're not opening a lot of them. Uh, Somebody's on. I think it's uh, hmm? Kevin. Kevin. It's Kevin. Kevin and Hitler. Yes. Yeah. You know, <clears throat> if Kevin moves in such a way, the Adolf actually was starting to cover his head. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh crap! <laughs> I'm sorry. What? I was a little late. I was I was at the uh, at my Bible class and we were getting ready for a retreat tomorrow I see. let me get rid of that i'm sorry jesus christ <laughs> let's see here up, 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 up. i'm trying to find that you know it's so hard to find i apologize for that it's so hard to find a recent uh um uh trump uh twitter or tweet because uh he does so many of them but you can't find the one you want, <laughs> you know. But uh, basically, he was just doing a whole thing about, you know, you don't want to cause trouble tomorrow at our rally uh, because he, we're just uh, any protesters, yeah. anarchists, uh, agitators, looters, or lowlifes who are yeah. going to Oklahoma. Please understand, you will be treated like you have been. In, you will not be treated like you've been in New York, Seattle, Minneapolis. It'll be a much different scene. Really? Yeah. That's despicable. Hey, Paul. Hmm. It is despicable. He's hey, like yeah. Cyrus from the Warriors. He's got a crack head. <laughs> Come yeah. on. Uh, Cyrus and the Warriors. <laughs> he's nuts. The man is insane. Do you, is, you know what I don't have ready to go? I don't have a full house, but we do have a full house. Don't we? Do we? Oh. Yes. Yeah, just joined. Yeah. 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 We have a full house. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can you... Yeah. Yep. Up your little. Uh, I I would have to do. Uh, well, let me see here. Put it in one of the squares. Huh? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I, I might be able to. I might be able to do it. Let me see here. First, I have to uh, go to. I want an image. Okay. And then I go add existing. And oh, 
here we go, full house, okay. All right, and then I bring this down. Okay, I bring this, uh, get, make it smaller. I've got, I'm, I'm just talking to myself, folks. There we, oh, well, here, here we go. Here we go, we can do it that way. And there we go, folks, it's a full house. But um, I did it. Um, you know, hope you all enjoy that one, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, there we go. I see the gabnet thing. <coughs> huh? There it Come is. On. Come on. You see? There it is. Very right. nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. In fact, uh, let me just let me just bring this down just a little bit here, uh, just to so it's. Um, let me see here. There we go. So it's uh, not as. Uh, is much of a problem. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. That's not what I want. Oh, yeah, that's what I want. And I want to make sure that it's there. Okay. All right. So, Alex, what do you think of uh, Google and Facebook uh, taking down the right leaning uh, 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 posts and advertisements like uh, The Federalist and, uh, and some things that, and, and, and a joke thing that Trump did? with two little babies uh, uh, doing something that was a doctored thing that he posted as a joke? Well, I don't know. I would have to see them. Uh, I'm, I'm against, uh, you know, censoring advertising, provided the advertising is uh, legitimate and that it, it is not uh, lying or being provocative in any sort, you know. Yeah. I mean, I, I think you have to have certain rules about it, but I think given that, I think that, you know, anybody right or left who wants to advertise should be allowed to. You know, I mean, uh, what do you have this, you know, you, you're going to suddenly say, well, only take left-wing advertising? That, that well, yeah, that's that's what the guy from The Federalist is saying. Yeah. Uh, that's cool. Are you, well, you got to have a better statement than that. But uh, are you familiar with it? Hmm? No, I'm, they, they, I've seen all kinds of right wing. Uh, are you familiar? Are you familiar with the Federalist issue uh, and Facebook and Google? No. All right, then I rest my case. Well, explain. Rest it. your case. That doesn't prove that they're, they're <laughs> discriminating against the Federalist. Well, that's what they're claiming, and so if you if you either read the article or saw the piece. Uh, you know, you'd be a little more familiar with it, but it doesn't do me any good to talk about something that nobody's familiar with. Yeah. Okay. Next. Well, yeah. Next. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, I, you know, I just, I'm, uh, you know, I used to be like uh, when I was doing a, my show in San Francisco, uh, they would come to me occasionally and say, "Do you mind having this advertiser on?" And uh, the Republican Party wanted to take out ads on my show, knowing full well where my politics were, okay? And I said, I have no problem with that. You know, I'm not going to tell them they can't advertise on my show. If, I, if, we, if we open up the doors to anybody to advertise, as long as they're a legitimate business of one sort or another, then I, I have no right to turn down the Republican Party. But don't ask me to do a live read, you know. Don't ask me to sound like I'm endorsing it. But I, uh, I, I, I would be against censoring an, ad an advertiser from being on my show. I would not say the Republicans can't buy time, but the Democrats can. Yeah. Yeah. Hell, they do a Trump survey before I log on here sometimes. Really? No, oh, yeah. it has to yeah. do yeah, Trump commercial. Uh, the, the commercials that you get have to, are based on the kinds of things that you search. So if you're searching stuff about prostate cancer, you'll get commercials uh, about prostate cancer. If you're yeah, searching stuff about this. Trump, then, uh, you know, that's what you'll get. It, you're it, searching yeah, stuff on Trump. Trump. Not necessarily. Trump. I get the Trump ads. I never search for Trump. Yeah, I don't ever search. You know what I Trump. noticed I the other night? The it hears what you say. What, 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 uh, what, what, I, what I noticed the other night on my show is before the show started, it, you know, they run ads and things like that. And it was a, a Joe Biden ad. Yeah, yeah, that's different all the time. Yeah, but, it you know. So I want to thank Joe Biden for Tonight buying... it was knives, I think. What? Tonight yeah. it was Japanese knives when I logged in. Oh, was it? Oh, I guess it's different wherever you are. We had to buy yeah. ads tonight. Yeah. 
Oh, does it, it does it like uh, decide who you are and what best yes. you would want to see? Oh, okay. Yeah. All I right. think so. That's yeah. what I noticed. Yeah. yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah. That, that was the whole idea behind the Internet is that they could focus on the things that you like. I, I hit a button once that I was looking at a wide printers, like 36-inch wide mm -hmm. uh, printers. Oh, and then printers would come up for days. Oh, oh yeah. I, it's it's been a month and I'm still getting them. Yeah, yeah. it's hard to get rid of any. Of them. Be nice if they sent you a free printer. Yeah, <clears throat> pretty pretty soon you'll buy one in your sleep. You know, even if you buy those things, it's it's the ink that costs. You know, they have like 14 ink cartridges and they're really big. You know, it's the razor. Yeah, marketing. But yeah, and then the bad thing is, is if your wife sees your Facebook from your phone while you're strolling on it and it's not showing vacations because you just bought the family vacation for Christmas. Oh, yeah. That yeah. happened to me. Oh, let me, Bree, uh, Bree, if you're listening, I just looked at your uh, your uh, chat and mm -hmm. you're saying, um, let me see here about, there was a time when Alex swore off Zoom and said Skype was the deal. I was talking up Zoom on March 18th. Good for you, Bree. The fact was that it wasn't what I said at all. What I said was, I had more control of the way the screen looks using Skype than using um, uh, uh, Zoom, and that's yeah, why I would that's pushing what, Zoom for a while, and you know. But like most people, when they want to troll you, they well, find something. Yeah, well, he doesn't do a show where he has to put people on, you know. And like, for instance, if people remember, I'm I can't show you because we don't have anybody in there. That's a show. But this this was uh, this was the way it used to look. That's the way it used to look. And then I could put people in that, yeah, in that template, and I had more control over it. Here, I have to take what Zoom gives me, and that's what I don't like about Zoom. If I could do something where I could, you know, yeah. do the same thing with each of you in Zoom. That would be fine, but I can't. There's a, there's a way of doing it, but it's so complicated, it's ridiculous. So OBS won't allow you to create a template with because you have to put each one in well, the, because, individually? Well, beca because the thing that does it with Skype was a thing called NDI, which is another program done by New Tech. And mm -hmm. then I use that within OBS. And so I can then use NDI and say, okay, I want Kevin in that place, and I want... You fill in that place and so on and so forth. I wonder how long it'll take for them to come up with. I think they would have already if they were going to. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because a lot of the news agencies are doing that and they like to customize the screen. Uh, yeah, but they have, you know, million dollars worth of equipment. Yeah. And you what can do it. Now? I mean, I could take you, <laughs> Phil, and I could isolate your picture. Yeah. And then just put it up. Uh, but I don't want to have to. Yeah. You know, and it's too much trouble to do each and every one of you. And and uh, every night I would have to do it separately. Yeah, this sounds like this is easy. Yeah. So, in other words, fuck you, Bree. You know, <laughs> you know, I, I uh, you know, I, uh, you know, whatever. Anyway, I'm lightheaded tonight. What is with me? I, I think. Where is the chat on this thing? I don't sound like I have the corona. Do I, Bri uh, uh, Brian? No. Oh. No? Okay. I'd be coughing like crazy, right? If you're not and if you're not getting worse, don't worry about it. Hey Brian, it's, it's why don't you test them? It's just kind of the same all the time. Marjorie thinks How many how many fingers? Five. Uh, oh <laughs> I mean did you mean originally or that you were holding up? <laughs> it's only, yeah. Um anyway, but I'm lightheaded tonight. I'm just, you know, bleh, because I've been taking these I've been taking pills to put me to sleep and and one of them is the uh, the stuff for my neuropathy, which mm -hmm. is Lyrica. And then the other I take is sometimes Xanax. But the last night I didn't take any of them, and all day today I've been loopy. You know. Yeah, it's withdrawal. Yeah, I think I'm going through withdrawal. I, you know, I had radiation first thing this morning. Oh, good. That's a nice thing to wake up to, a croissant and radiation. <laughs> and then I went to my rolfer, and he... I haven't seen him in three months uh, as a uh, professionally. And uh, I tell you something, I can barely walk <laughs> after he got done with my calves. Yeah. And uh, tomorrow I get a haircut. This is, this is Nirvana. And you me. don't have to go for any uh, radiation 
tomorrow. No, you got the weekend off. And you're two weeks in now. You only got five weeks left of this, Mr. Goss. I know. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah. I get a haircut tomorrow, too. Yeah, I'm yeah. getting a haircut tomorrow as well. Of course, I don't have to leave the house to get it now. Oh, yeah. Billy, yeah. Come see you too. Uh, oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Yours really. That's nice. Oh, look at that. You look like Zippy the Pinhead. Oh, that's good. <laughs> So Luckily, have, my wife knows how to cut hair, so that's not doing she, good. She doesn't, or she doesn't. And a little she does, short. She does. Hey, Brian, she, she went a little hard, a little uh, hard on the sides, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you taking Xanax, oh, Alex? You just having a hard time sleeping? Or? Yeah, it's just it's a nice little sleeping pill, but yeah. uh, but but I don't like taking them now, and I'm trying to stop. And today I'm lightheaded, <clears> like <throat> you know, woozy. Try to tough it out. Try to tough it out for a few days. Yeah, I think that's one of the reasons I'm also worried about the. I have a slight shortness of breath, not nothing, you know. And it's been this way for a mask. couple of days. What? It's wearing a mask. No, no. Not wearing a mask. What, 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 Jeff? I think it's a, a warm time and uh, and and real moist uh, today outside. That could be. Alex. That could be. And I know. I went out. And took a ride on a bike, and I went, "Ooh, yeah, this is, this is different." Th did you have a shortness of breath though from it? Yeah, a little bit, but yeah. you know. Okay, well, you yeah, know, maybe that's what it is. I don't know. Uh, I you know, also well, what it, it is. Must be a lot temper. We we I have think we, the temperature we, was we, uh, close to ninety. We have these fans, right? You know, and they get dust on the on the blades. Ooh. So Marjorie yesterday decided she was going to clean the dust off the blades. Uh. And it's everywhere, you yeah, know. I but I yeah. mean, with the, with the cleaning woman is coming in tomorrow. So she's Pre cleaning in preparation. Praise, of the praise the Lord. Yeah, she cleans before the cleaning woman comes. Um, so do we. Uh, uh, we do. And, and it ha it is <laughs> so dusty. This apartment is so dusty. It's ridiculous, you know. <clears throat> so we're gonna do have guys, to. Are you guys it. allowed to stay there while they're cleaning? While she's cleaning? Yeah, because here, our cleaning lady, they they have a COVID-19 stuff, and they they don't allow people to be here while they're cleaning. So the kids are here, but they'll go outside and play while they clean. Yeah, well, I know yeah. she's going to... Why they do that? So they can go through your drawers. She's going to come here, but we're, right. we're going to stay six feet away from each other, uh, and we're going to wear masks if need be, if need be, if we're more yeah. than less than six feet apart. You know. Yeah. Um, so that's fine. You know. I mean, plus she's not sick. I mean, and when she comes in, wait a minute. I'm mm -hmm. loaded. Oh, you got the. Uh, yeah. Oh, you got the. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go Let me see home. here. I'm I'm 96.8. <clears throat> I guess I'm okay, huh, Brian? Yes. If I had COVID, I would have a temperature, right? <clears throat> Yeah, most likely, but like if your shortness of breath was getting worse, not just staying steady, then I'd be concerned. Yeah, no, it's not I'm getting not a worse. It, I'm it, not it, a doctor. No, it's the same. Just plays one on Gabnet. It's the same. As, <laughs> yeah, right. It's the same as. It, I didn't think you had any symptoms, Alex. I didn't think you have any symptoms for the first uh, week or two because uh, you're you're you've got it, uh, but you don't know it, right? But then once you get it, you get it. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, yeah. especially the age and. Condition. Yeah. I had this. I had this. You had it. It'd be strong. I had this kind of shortness of breath thing going on for about the last two days, you know. Yeah. So I thought it was pollen, but the pollen levels are low. But you know, we got all this dust and humidity and and so on. So I'm hoping I'm okay. You know, you think I'll I'll survive this, huh, Brian? You spend most. Uh, well, we'll we'll find out on Tuesday. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you spend most of your time in the studio? Or out in the rest of the apartment? Uh, I'm all over the place here. Uh, the only thing I was thinking is that they make these uh, negative ion generators. Uh, they uh, uh, filter the air, and they and they pull the pollen and all of that stuff. You get a dehumidifier. Uh, it, it, no, it's not like a, it's not a dehumidifier. It's a, an electric thing, uh, and and so the air gets pulled into it, and then uh, the charge takes the. Uh, other stuff out of it and puts and it back. That works. In. You know, they you, work well. Yeah, I, I bought one years ago at Sharper Image. Well, as I said a couple uh, of days yeah. ago, I've often wanted to buy a humidifier. 
and also a dehumidifier oh, and put them in the same room at the same time and let them fight. <laughs> we took my mom to the doctor the other day and the first thing the lady did was they can only have one patient at a time. They zapped us with the uh, that thing you have. Yeah. We could even go into the office, both of us. And if you have a temperature, they won't let you in. Oh, they won't let you in. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, and Marjorie, Marjorie was looking at something online because, you know, eventually they're going to have to reopen their office at least some of the time. And there's this thing you can actually have, and it's uh, two poles that people walk through as they come in the door, and it'll take their temperature automatically. And it'll make sure you didn't steal any clothing items. <laughs> yes, right. Right. But uh, it sounded yeah, like... We had the scanner. Didn't sound like... You have a scanner? Yeah, they have the thermo scanner, and we have two questions. Uh, no one knows the answer, but it's like, uh, have you? Do you have any symptoms of COVID, or have you? Do you know anybody with symptoms of COVID? Like, do you live? Yeah. Have you ever? We've been, only had two cases. Have you been early, a, early, you, early on, like in March? Are you and now, or have you after. ever been a COVID? Uh, <laughs> uh, I wonder. I wonder if this thing. If I put this thing on, because they started doing this last night about this time if i am able the waiting room if there are people in the waiting room i know i can see people are waiting in the in the in the waiting room but does it notify me that there's somebody in the waiting room that, that's a good question phil would you like to hang up and then come back <laughs> no <laughs> no 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 i'm just just kidding <clears throat> anyway so uh let me see here so uh, uh, we've got uh, we've got Trump doing his little uh, little thing tomorrow in uh, Oklahoma City. I wonder how many people he's going to kill tomorrow. Yeah. How many will be there? Uh, huh? I said I wonder how many people he's going to kill tomorrow. <clears throat> It'll be interesting <clears throat> to see. Two weeks. Yeah. Yeah, it takes two weeks to. Well, this is not exactly what we would call the best group for this kind of situation. <laughs> Because these are people who haven't been wearing masks, I bet you, all along anyway. Right. And uh, all of a sudden, you got them all in the room at the same time. You're assuming. Meeting one, of the mind. One guy was saying, one guy they were interviewing was saying, oh, well, uh, COVID's not going to get me. I won't let it get me. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I don't know how true it is, but CNN, their, their reporter was saying people say they don't believe in it. Really, they're crazy. Like it's fake, and well, that's what Trump said. Think yeah, the he, world is flat too. I guess. Yep. I there are people who believe that today. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know somebody who said it's already done. No, oh, yeah. really anymore. You know, a, a Cuomo did his final press conference. It wasn't uh, really a press conference. He gave a speech, and it was so inspiring. I was almost going to play it here tonight. Maybe I'll play it next week. It was so inspiring to hear somebody tackle this thing and talk about this thing in the way that he does. Uh, and it was wonderful. It was just wonderful. He was just saying he was thanking the New Yorkers. He says, thank you for what you've done. The reason why we have managed to just take the deaths and everything and make them down to almost nothing is because of you. And Think was, about it. It's quite a feat. It really is. Oh, it is. And he thanked everybody. He said, you have taught me lessons I thought I would never learn at this stage in the game about these kinds of things and about you as a people. And I'm thinking, when was it that Trump ever said, good job? You know? Only to about, own, about, his, about what he does. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or he claims he does. Yeah. He shut off the plane flights from China. Yeah, Part yeah. Two. I mean, it... it, it that's the kind of leadership you need in this country, <clears throat> you know. So, um, well, now now he's got his own government-funded TV network with this uh, takeover of Voice of America. That's fucking scary. Well, did you hear about what happened tonight at the last moment? Let me get my mail here because mm -hmm. I mailed it to myself so I could read it. Uh, let me see here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. New York Times. Okay. Here we go. Uh, uh, let's down see. Twelve here. points in the Fox polls, and you don't even believe that. So. How, how much is he down? Twelve, 12 points. 
Ray, um, Alex, Ray is in the waiting room. Ray is in uh, the Bree waiting room. says there is a way you can turn it so it'll chime you when somebody enters the waiting room. Yeah, let me see here. I don't think uh, so. Uh, wait a minute. A Hold on a second. I, I don't see, I don't see uh, him. What? He just sent me an instant. He says, can you tell Alex I'm in the waiting room? Well, he's not in the waiting room. All right, I'll tell him. No, uh, he's not in the waiting room, but I'll I'll open the waiting room, get rid of the waiting room, and let's see what happens. I mean, uh, I is there? I guess maybe. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Admit. There we go. Now I know where to go for it. But I went for it. Oh, there he is. There, oh, there he is. Coming up. Okay. I'll cl I'll enable the waiting room again. Uh, <clears throat> you know. Um, so uh, we have uh, not just a full house, we have a royal flush. Oh, do I have to now go and set that up? Son of a <laughs> so, so I heard you wanted to see if you got notified. That's why I called in. Did you get notified? Well, yeah. Oh, oh okay. Got notified by me. <laughs> notified oh, by no. him. <laughs> it's supposed to be a way you can chime is that the way? Is that the way Zoom's supposed to work? Everybody gets notified by Phil? Yeah, Ray Ray texts me and I tell Alex. Right. <laughs> okay, let me you see. Select way. a loud chime on entry and exit, Bree says. A loud chime on entry and exit? Well, yeah, yeah, then I got lots of chimes going off, Bree. Yeah, anyway. You know, well, I was going to text Alex, but Bill, I saw you looking at your phone, so I figured to text you. <laughs> <laughs> that could have been 10 seconds ago or 20 seconds, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me see here. Ba -ba -bum. Royal flush. There we go. I got it. See? All right. I can uh, do. I can do these things. You know. So there we cool. go. Anyway. That's the pinning. And mm -hmm. you know, nobody's getting cut off. The audio sounds good, even with eleven. Oh, yeah. uh, and you could probably have fourteen. Uh, hey, somebody or... else call. Let's see if we can uh, make it hit the jackpot. My wife teaches a classes classes every morning with fifty or more people on Zoom, and they're all live on there. Yeah, hmm. yeah, yeah. And that she never has any problems. Very rarely. Let me see here. Image. Let me get another image. I want to get the jackpot ready to go, uh, in case somebody else does call. Let me see here. Royal flush jackpot. H I J K. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, there we are. Oh, okay. 14 going to be fireworks or huh? 14 is a uh, uh, fireworks. No, after 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 the next uh, after uh, what? Jackpot. After jackpot. Uh, jackpot. Hmm? Jackpot. A lottery win. A lottery win. <laughs> <laughs> really? A lottery win, you know. <laughs> How much do you get? <laughs> Let me see here. Let me get oh, that. if it's uh, the thing that Faye keeps getting mail from, uh, <clears throat> Publishers Clearinghouse, you only get more letters <laughs> and offers to buy magazine subscriptions. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So let me see here, and then I can hide the jackpot. So if one more person calls, I can, I can make the jackpot go off. So anyway, but the, no, you're right, Phil. Uh, yeah. Easy peasy. No yeah. problem with, uh, you know, all of a sudden everything isn't suddenly like closing down. Yeah, you know, with uh, Skype, once you got eight people, uh, some people didn't get camera. You know, it wasn't uh, that was a while ago, but yeah, uh, yeah. So anyway, for me, it's nice I could see everybody in the square instead of the little circles. Mm. I also yeah. have sniffles too, Brian. I'm always asking Brian. Yeah, I can question. only see six at a time, but I can sniffles. Uh oh. All right. It's it's great on the phone. I can't see everybody on one screen, but all I have to do is slide if I want to see more people. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 I have that for work. Yeah, it's cool. Where you can see what? Well, <clears throat> yeah, I can only see four at a time on the phone at a screen, but I just slide from right to left, and then it fills in the next three people, yeah. and it keeps me in the upper yeah. left. Yeah. Isn't that the way Tinder works? You know, I don't know. I've never used it. I know. <laughs> it either. There's a dating program, and you slide if you don't like the person. Yeah, you swipe right or left. Yeah. Swipe right if you like them. Left, if they're ugly. Yeah. There was year, years ago. There was a site, and I guess it's kind of based on that called Hot or Not. Yep. 
Yep, yep. Remember I remember that? that. Yeah. Yeah, except Tinder, you can go you. on actual dates, though. Yeah, but they had to vote you uh, yep. if, if you were on there, and you didn't get so many votes, you couldn't stay on there. Yeah, I remember that. Isn't that how Facebook got started with something like that? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah was, Facebook was started that way. A directory yeah. for Harvard students. Yeah, yeah. but to, for like but, dating or something. <laughs> yeah, it was the girl. Yeah, seeing if the girls were cute or not. Hold on a second. I got a piece of news that came in. Uh, Shortly before we went on the air, uh, the Justice Department on Friday abruptly tried to oust the United States attorney in Manhattan, Jeffrey S. Berman, the powerful federal prosecutor's office, sent President Trump's former personal lawyer, Michael Cohn, to prison and who has been investigating Mr. Trump's current personal lawyer, Rudolph W. Giuliani. But Mr. Oh, Berman wow. said in a statement that he was refusing to leave his position, setting up a crisis within the Justice Department over one of yeah. its most prestigious jobs. I have All not right. resigned. I have no intention of resigning my position, Mr. Berman said, adding that he learned that he was stepping down in a press release from the Justice Department. Yeah. Attorney General William P. Barr's announcement that President Trump was seeking to replace Mr. Berman was made with no notice. Mr. Barr said the president intended to nominate as Mr. Berman's sec successor, you ready for this, a real lawyer, Jay Clayton, current chairman of the Securities and Exchange Commission. It's like the mafia. Huh? It is. It's a fucking gangster. Yeah. We're being run by a fucking gangster. Yep. Yep. Fucker. <clears throat> yep. How do you feel about this, Josh? You've been quiet tonight. Let me pull you in screaming and kicking into this discussion uh i saw the headline i don't know much more about it yeah than what you read there i mean i know a little bit of background about it because i knew there were some uh, investigations or whatnot i mean isn't isn't there some protection for these kind of guys who have this kind of office to be uh, kind of protected from uh well, political I mean, I, uh, I think it's mostly yeah. It's been o called, it's called norms. government norms is what it's called. Yeah. yeah. That's what our whole yeah. fucking government's founded on norms. And if you just fucking throw them all away, we don't have a democracy anymore. Hey, John, uh, yeah. Josh was in the middle of something. I don't know if you heard him. All right, yeah. go ahead, Josh. Yes, Josh, go ahead. No, I mean, I, I think the oversight, I mean, I'm sure that, you know, I mean, they have an inspector general at the Justice Department. We'll look, I'm sure we'd look in to see if there was some kind of something improper or whatever but uh, i mean i think in the end it's you know a presidential directive to remove people so the true oversight would be you know more from the people i mean i i think some sensible people could draw a pretty easy line to say you know you fired someone no one's ever heard of and he just happened to be investigating your personal attorney i mean and people associated with him that that's fairly obvious mm -hmm. Uh, has a bad look, you know, has a bad smell to it. I would have to think people could draw that line. I mean, there'll be people who defend it. I mean, you know, it's, it's a sham this or that or, you know, whatever. I mean, so. Josh, is it legal for Trump to replace him? Do you know? Well, I would imagine it probably is. I mean, I don't know every little bit of the, yeah. you know, U.S. Code and, and Justice Department rules. I mean, I'm sure it's not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Illegal. I mean, I think within the executive branch, you know, the president can pretty much almost fire almost anyone, I believe. I, I think there, I mean, I think there are probably some federal law that gives certain protections to some people, but as far as I know, this guy's just a, He's a, not a, a U.S. Right attorney now. or an assistant U.S. attorney, and I, I believe they can be fired by the president anytime they want. I mean, George uh, W. Bush. What had a big deal about that one of the years that he was in office when they dismissed a lot of U.S. attorneys at one time. Um, or maybe that, yeah, I believe. And then I think Trump did it again after he took office. Yeah. They fired a bunch of Obama. Did you hear Trump he, was trying to fire another attorney? What was this? What's this, Jeff? Oh, I was just telling Pam about about, uh, oh, oh, yeah. That Trump just fired another attorney. Right. 
By the way, Ray Renati, I uh, you, do you know Phil that you're you're muted? You're muted. Hold, hold on a second, Phil. He's probably because of wind keeping himself M muted. No, and that's but Phil. Is, Phil, Phil, I I muted. Oh, uh, Phil. I, yeah, I, he he muted me uh, in error. I, I muted Ray yeah, because he's, I, he's making yeah. too much noise, Ray. So if you want to, uh, I, I thought I muted. I thought I had muted myself. Okay. Uh, okay. I, I got a uh, a message that I could. Uh, hit shift something something and unmute myself but uh, where's the something Kate? uh i don't know i i, I couldn't <laughs> by the time i got done reading the message it it flashed off yeah. i mean but so i guess back to what we we're talking about but i mean this is pretty standard operating procedure for this administration right i mean you know this is kind of how they operate and what they do and we're not going to solve it here because this is what they do and they're not going to change so the decision is going to be made basically in november yep. yeah right i mean i would like to think that actions like this are the reason that you know i read yesterday or maybe it was the day before that he's losing by 14 points in michigan mm -hmm. you know i mean that's that's a pretty significant development i mean it's a state that he won also, and, and, there's and a, now he's down by 14 points in the latest set of polls know, in Michigan. You know, I know so. a lot of people who did not like Hillary and decided, what have we got to lose with Trump? And those people are against Trump, like every one of them that I know, except Phil, <laughs> is uh, would not vote for him again. Yeah, so, I mean, that's a poll. It's not, it's not the election, so... You know, we'll see. Well, but you know, you've got. I would think that these are the type of actions, or at least I hope, that have led to those developments. Well, we'll see if that's. Well, the Fox polls. Didn't you say, Rob? The Fox polls have have Biden what twelve points? Uh, that ahead? was that was Kevin, I think, right? Kevin. Somebody Kevin? said it. I Who said that? Yeah, it was uh, the Fox poll this, this afternoon said twelve points. Twelve points. Now, you know, you could say, well, you know, uh, the polls said that Hillary was going to win, but it didn't say she was going to win by 12 points. She, they had her by about four points or something like that. But 12 yeah, points is quite significant. Of course, oh. you know, Trump it said that it was a phony poll and it was, it was uh, you it know, makes, the, Fox, the Fox people are nuts and everything else. It makes Trump out to be an underdog, which is a good place to be at this, at this juncture in the... Uh, uh, in the thing because it riles up the base and it gets people to say, oh, well, I've got to vote. Phil, Phil you know how you're wrong about that? Because uh, I've known this to be a fact for the longest time. And that is, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice is a little hoarse tonight. Um, uh, uh, that people will not vote for somebody when they smell loser's breath. Uh, you know, yeah. wait a minute. Hold on a second. They people do not vote for somebody they perceive is going to lose terribly, and the reason they don't vote for them is because they don't want to have to say the next day I voted for him. This this is uh, far enough out. What is there? 140 days. This is far enough out to where uh, being an underdog is a good thing. Mm -hmm. because, it's far enough uh, out that by the time we get to the election, he could win by 25 percent. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Not Trump. I don't think, Bill, Biden. I don't think Bill's, uh, Bill's theory is too far out of hand either. Me yeah. myself, no, but, I don't think it is because he could, he could stir up all the all the swamp all the swamp buggers, and they could come out. You know, who knows how many di didn't vote last time that will vote this time? Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. I know that everybody I know that supports Trump just says, "God, he's got to win. We got to vote." You know, uh, it's it's much more. Uh, there, there's a lot of people. Uh, that I know uh, that say you got to you got to get out and support Trump. How many how many do you know that didn't vote for him that want to vote for him, like, you know, this time? Yeah, uh, uh, about 10 people on GabNet. <laughs> no, no, no. How many people that didn't vote for him want to, want to now? Uh, right. I, I don't know any. I mean, I, I don't know. I would almost take that as a bad sign because those people are obviously not ashamed of this fact and they are voicing their opinion. And I'm sure many of those people are accounted for in these polls because there have been so many of them and they've come from such a wide variety. 
and yet the numbers are what they are. Right. So, I mean, I would almost take that as a bad sign. And I mean, I know everyone can say, yeah, but last time the polls said Hillary yeah. this and this is what happened. And, I mean, okay, that's fact, and I agree, but I don't know that that's a, in all likelihood going to happen two times because this is a totally different set of circumstances. I'm, I mean, I look at that as, okay, it was a surprise. I mean, you, you know, you ran your play, you scored your touchdown, fucking congratulations. I hope you feel good about yourself. Yeah. But you're, not, you're not tricking us again. All right. The only, the only point, other we've seen it. We're ready for it. Do you any of you? The only other caveat now is that he showed his cards. Now he knows. He, you know what you get. Fred Smirks had his hand up. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, I oh. think uh, I think the polls are they're pretty hard to. They're just unpredictable now because um, you know with social media and stuff. I mean, how, how many of these trolls that are like you know on Reddit and all these QAnon people? Nobody pulls those people, and we really don't know how many of those people out, are out there. There's a great article, uh, you can Google it, um, from Vanity Fair about the people that go to these Trump rallies. And um, they they are fucking nuts. You would not believe how nutty these fucking people are. Yeah, they are. And they, they, you just cannot predict what these people will do. So there I don't was, know how reliable these polls are. There's still the only poll that stopped uh, their presidential polling in the 2016 election it was called the field poll and it had been around for 50 years and uh, the field poll was very uh, respected but they uh, at that point uh, the 2016 election they said we're not going to participate and I'm wondering if it's because there's there was so much BS in the way they're doing polling uh, that uh, field just said, hey, I'm, I'm not going to get involved because they were a respected poll. Do you remember them, Alex? Yeah. Yeah. And 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 it was 2016 when they said, no, we're not going to participate. And that was the last I heard of them. Y yes. Also, notice this year, there's no Green Party to take any votes from the Democrats. Notice that it's it's like just yes. Democrats against Republicans this year. Uh, there's no <laughs> and Republicans against Republicans this year, too. I yeah. think Jesse Ventura is running. Is he? Uh, yeah, I think so. I read it yesterday. Um, uh, is it, yeah? Why? Because uh, yeah. he's an, an he's idiot. A I don't know. Yeah. He yeah. had too many times. Well, he'll just take Trump voters. <laughs> I don't think so. He's a libertarian, isn't he? Uh, hmm? I don't think he'll get uh, any significant amount of the vote. I, I think he, yeah. he had his day when well, he was governor. Well, the fact that none of us knew he was running yeah. seems yeah. to be an indicator that he doesn't have a good shot. Yeah. You know. Is he running for president or some other position? Uh, president, I think. I read. I just read the headline. I didn't read the whole article, so it could have been a clickbait, but I think it was real. Oh, uh, well, so you know, maybe he's using Pat Paulson's old buttons. <laughs> Remember <laughs> Pat Paulson for president? <laughs> yeah. Ross Perot's come back. I, I voted for Ross Perot. I could see that. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. yeah. Ross Perot. Well, why am I not surprised? Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I, thought, I thought he was a real patriot. And I felt that if I didn't vote for him, uh, that I, I'm not giving him a chance uh, to do it, I you know I, I, and I wasn't crazy about Bush, but uh, you know Ross Perot got what nineteen percent of the vote, and even your business manager voted for him. I know. Here's Jesse the deal. Ventura is not um, is not yet he, running. Uh, oh, there's okay. A grassroots movement encouraging him to run. Ah, okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. The headline I saw was that. deceptive. And, I think they're all yeah. on grass. Is what's. Yeah. <laughs> They're all pushing them By the way, I just have to ask. Pharisee, Pharisee. I have to ask Brian something. Brian, uh, oh, no. look, ninety-six nine. That's low. Going down. Huh? Down. So I, I haven't got COVID, have I? Not at ninety-six nine. Well, oh, maybe, maybe you got the COVID, but your temperature's on sale, and you got it a little discounted. Well, just getting ready for the chiller. 96.9, still 96.9. So I'll, I'll be honest with you. I, I have to wonder. Wait a minute, I'll try this. I mean, I, I have to wonder if Trump wants to be real. I don't know there. I was just talking about you. Yeah. Yeah, oh, really. I was going to say, I mean, I, I just, 
I almost wonder if Trump really would want to be reelected. I mean, I know there was an article about that in New York Times a few days ago. Yeah. Some people around him are actually a little worried that he might be self sab I mean, I don't know. I'm just saying I understand the point. I mean, actually, for him to run and lose is probably more lucrative for him than it is to win again. Yeah. Well, yeah, he yeah. can always hang around, say, I can come back and run. He can do the Sarah Palin thing for three or four years, go speak here, go speak there. And then all of a sudden, every single one of these rallies that he'll hold for the next four years just fucking around, they'll pay him to come instead of him paying to put him on. Wait, I mean, uh, they were... And Josh, that's kind of how he uh, operates. Bri were, Brian, Brian uh, let me ask Brian something. My, 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 uh, my, my, uh, my, uh, hold on Nick a second. Kelly. Hold on a second. Brian, my temperature yes. is 98.2, but the, 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 this <clears throat> thing says, let me try it again. Get some batteries. What that thing 96.8. Now, which one do I believe? Uh, get a rectal thermometer for the tiebreaker. <laughs> uh, maybe that little thing, he's to, uh, Brian, that thing he's holding to his forehead is a rectal thermometer. <laughs> uh, never shoot the, that one up. <laughs> no, which one? Which one would you? Which one is preferential? I don't know. I have no idea. Well, oh, yeah. I know all about. I know all about this. He's got. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ray, Ray, Ray says he knows something about yeah, this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rectal thermometers are very accurate. Yeah. The reason <laughs> I know that is because in France, that's all they use. Oh, don't like, put it I've in had to mouth. take. Oh. I've had to take my temperature there. It's always been rectal. Uh, they're totally. Mm. That's what they do, and they're really ac It's really accurate because it's right in the. Yeah. In the in the tissue there, ninety-eight yeah. one. Call it the tissue if you want. Yeah, the, <laughs> the buttock, <laughs> the, the asshole. Yeah. It's a dirty crack, but someone's got to clean. Hey, it. your dog pooped. Where's the bag? Yeah, he's not picking up. That's a problem. She pooped. Oh yeah. shit! Yeah. Was it over here somewhere? Uh, it was uh, yeah. Middle. <laughs> Rectal for my watching for poop. You're right. never gonna find that one. Oh, it's too dark out here. I used it's to like finding it. a needle in a haystack. <laughs> no, All right. Dark. Only if you step in it. It's yeah, it doesn't look dark on the picture, but it's dark already. Hmm. Yeah, it's getting dark. Yeah, anyway. So so, so, so I got to go get a rectal thermometer. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yes, if you want a, a very accurate... Yes, you need a rectal thermometer. Is that thermometer. a basal body thermometer? Huh? That's this is the basal. one you stick up your ass. Well, this yeah. thing gets oh, a yeah. basal body thermometer. Well, this is a body thermometer. Uh, try taking it from the temple. 96.7. Uh, it won't go out. any higher. Maybe I need more batteries uh, or something. At Kaiser, every morning they use something like that on me, and sometimes they do it on the temple. On the temple? Or, okay, hold yeah. on. I wonder why. 96.6. shooting yourself. 96.5. And this is Fahrenheit. Jeez, I, I don't know. I, I don't get it. The other one says 98.1. Jump. Hmm? <laughs> Jump. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 in any stuff. event, I'm, I don't have a temperature. I mean, it's just which one do I believe? Yeah. My Any more discussion, I'm going to make you sign a waiver. So I don't have responsibility if you try to sue me later. Like, <laughs> you could do the old fashioned way, like my mother used to do. She used to put a hand on my head. You're all right. You know? <laughs> my <laughs> friend yeah. who puts together dive trips. At, You're wrong. At, when, as a matter of fact, I was on the, you know, those, the truth and the conception, uh, the one that, the conception was the one that burned. Mm -hmm. And so I've been on dive trips with this guy, and he's very left leaning. And he says, well, Trump is making people sign a waiver. And I said, well, you make me sign a waiver when we get on the dive trip. And he says, that's different. <laughs> he says, that's for diving. Well, no, but by making people sign a waiver, he is saying, yes, there's a possibility that this entire group could get coronavirus. Yeah. And there's no other concert or uh, exhibition or whatever you want to say that makes you sign a waiver. But every time it you will. Just, they do. And by the way, by the way, signing a waiver, signing a waiver does not absolve him of responsibility. No, but you know, it. it I bet you, once they start opening up concert venues and uh, things, that maybe they're going to start doing waivers as well. 
Well, if you look so, at your baseball well, what they ticket, will do, what they will do is you won't sign a waiver. There'll be something on your ticket and a big sign yeah, at the yeah, front. New, of I got the news for you. you yeah. The other night we were talking about baseball coming back, right? Yeah. Right. Well, so today <clears throat> I heard that the Philadelphia Phillies have a yeah. breakout of COVID in their yeah. camp. That five uh, or six Phillies are now infected with the coronavirus. Is, is there, there will not be any sports. You're not going to see baseball. Uh, you're not going to see <clears throat> what? The Cowboys. Dallas Cowboys have got it. I think a San Francisco yeah. 49er had it at uh, at. Uh, you, you're going to wait until there's a vaccine before you see sports again. You you before you see that, or movie theaters, or yep. Broadway theaters, or concerts. Yep. It's going to be a vapid, empty nothingness of, wow. of, of our of our uh, uh what do you call it our um uh, venue no nah, there's a you know word our Eight. culture oh. oh hey rob uh do they have to pay the baseball players if there's no, no. season and they're, no. no they're so, only paying per game right so if if all of a sudden they don't play no uh money. Then no money and isn't there an issue going on between the players the union and Next the year. owners Hey, they got their $1,200. Yeah, they, got paid, they got paid something already, but they're done paying. They're going to pay by the game if they play. But, man, now that now that you're seeing what's happening with the Phillies. Mm -hmm. I, and that's I, why I said, you know, right after when that the Utah Jazz guy got it, and they shut everything down right away. But I got the thing on Facebook saying that, yeah, that the Cowboys had it going through their camp. And, yeah. But I'm on so many, you know, Cowboys suck memes and so many things like that. I thought it was a joke. No. I, I'm kind of glad that the, the, uh, the Raiders. That's what I heard, yeah. The Raiders, uh, you know, picked up from Oakland and they moved to Las Vegas. Now they're not going to get to play any games. And in, in my heart of hearts, I'm kind of happy that they're getting screwed. You know, I, mean, I was pissed that they left. Well, they're all getting screwed. It's not just one team. Yeah, but... Uh, this team screwed the Bay Area, so. You know. Yeah, but you know, I mean, my question, my question is, you know, it's going to be a long time, and also, uh, the World Health Organization today said that their their daily report or their weekly report is there are more cases now than there have been in the past. Right. Yeah. Since since we're not paying the World Health Organization, are they still sending us the reports? Is it like the Arbitron ratings? If you don't yeah. subscribe to the book, you don't get yeah, the numbers. Get yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Texas had 20,000 cases this week. They only have 100,000 for the whole pandemic. Wow. 20,000 in one week. Tell Ray me. has his hand up. Yeah, yeah, I, just want, I just wanted to say with the sports thing, I got a an email from Cal, my alma mater, that they're starting, quote, unquote, voluntary training camp for the football team, which just sucks because you have to go. If you don't go, you're not going to play unless you're a star. Well, think about those it's guys. It's not fair. They're not pros, right? These guys, maybe yeah. they're seniors. They got a yeah. big chance and they don't get a chance to play. They graduate. It's the end of it. I, I know. It's just, though, that's like if anybody feels that's, like it's unsafe, they don't really have a choice because if they don't go, they're going to. They're going to be behind the people who do go. But when Texas people get Longhorns sick, I don't care who shows up. They can't play. Right, exactly. Yeah, that's Texas true. Wow. Well, anyway, you know, we're 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 not out of the woods yet, and we're and this isn't. By the way, they keep talking about this second wave. This is not the second wave this yet. This is still the first wave, where people got stupid, mm -hmm. and just that's simply brought it back. If this is the second wave. Yeah. Am I right, Brian? This is this is not this is still the same. Yeah, way. yeah, because it didn't close out. I mean, not like New York, you know. And New York's doing an awesome job. Yeah, yeah, and I hope it stays that way. Uh, leadership. Hmm. Yes. Leadership. It, yes. It, it, Leader yeah. Hosen. Absolutely. But I, 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 I felt today it was like the last episode of a series. You know, I'm gonna have to wait till the fall to see him back again. Anyway. That's it. That's our music playing. I will be. Message me, Alex, if you have a temperature. Message me. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. All right. Well, nothing says I have a temperature, so I imagine I don't have COVID. Good. I can sleep over the weekend. You have to have a temperature, right, Brian? 
you sh to be in your case, yes. The age and everything, yes. Yes. Oh, okay. well, you, need, you need a thermometer that works. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Charlie. Thank you very much to, uh, 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 I was looking at me and going to say Alex Bennett, uh, uh, Brian Neary and Rob and Josh and Fred Smirks. I'm going to keep calling you Fred Smirks until the day comes that you do away with that. Uh, 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 Phil Meyer, thank you. Kevin Stopper, thank you. Tony, Jeff Stein, Ray Renati, everybody. Ah, they're all hanging up on me and going away. So why don't I wave goodbye as well and say goodbye to them too. Okay, there they go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to end the uh, meeting. Uh, and uh, uh, we're going to... Oh, by the way, there's no Jack next, but he's taking the night off because he's not feeling well, okay? Uh, but uh, we'll play a rerun of one of his shows, okay? So you won't, you won't miss him entirely. Meanwhile, I'll be back again here on uh, Monday, uh, same time, same station, uh, 10.30 Eastern Daylight Time, same time, same station in life, if I don't have the coronavirus. And uh, in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye, everybody. Stay safe. Wear a mask, okay? <laughs> <laughs>